Welcome back, guys, to another video, Thrive Empire. My name is Anthony Shalamonico. And my name is Asher Holmes. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Shalamonico. Asher Holmes. Welcome back to another video, guys. And today, we're going to be talking about how scared money don't make no money. No. Scared money makes zero money. Before we get too far in the video, I know, I know, my face is shaved. I look like I'm 14, but I'm a mature, modest man that makes a lot of money. 16. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Right before we get into this video, we noticed that a lot of you guys are watching the videos, you're not subscribing. Make sure you guys right now hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and watch the whole video. Number one, you gotta spend money to make money. You gotta spend money to make money. What is scared money? Scared money. Oh, well. I'm working my nine to five, making 30 grand a year, but I'm too scared to ever pull any money out. So I save and just keep putting it away paycheck to paycheck. When we say scared money makes no money, when you're just saving forever, you're not gonna be rich saving 30 grand a year. When in reality, you got gift expenses. Yes. Saving 10 grand a year, it's not gonna happen. You invest your money into assets. Into assets, okay? In this case, it might be the startup cost to your business or startup cost to whatever you might be doing. Something that's going to inevitably build you more wealth, which in our case, it's our service businesses. Yeah. And as far as our old jobs went, as far as the warehouse goes, you're not yeah. going to become rich saving, uh, you know, 35 a year. You're not hating on the nine to five warehouse workers, but you're not going to become wealthy saving your money. It's yeah. not going to happen. And you can't be too afraid to invest into the asset, invest into to the startup costs in the business. Yep. It's scary, it's a leap. I did it, he did it. it it's definitely something that takes strength. Yep. It takes you know courage, because people fail all the fucking time, but it's because they quit. You can't fail if you don't quit. You Ooh. have to spend money to make money. Yeah. And you only get so much money. Think of it as like a garden. You have, in your house, you have all these fruits and vegetables, but slowly they're gonna disappear. The only way to like live a plentiful life in that aspect of a garden is you have to plant more seeds. Yep. You have to take those crops and you have to re-put them into the soil to get new crops. Right. And it's the same as money. You cannot make more money without spending money. You can only make a certain amount from working, yep. right? And you're just providing a certain value. And on top of that, they're making way more money from you. Yeah, and like you're saying, from there you have to kind of plan out your master plan. You have to plant your crops, yep. your bigger ideas. I'm making this money, what can I do with this? And what can I invest into? That's gonna ultimately make me way more money than I would if I just kept putting that away. Yeah, you have to spend money in order to make money. It's like when they say the rich get richer and the poor stay poor. It's because the rich are spending their money to make more money and the poor are putting it in their bank account, yeah. saving it for an emergency. 7-Eleven with yeah. chips. Yeah, spend money, make money. It's first one, probably one of the biggest ones. Yeah, I think so. But we'll go into number two, which is fear is, oh God, oh God, paralyzing. You are so scared about everything happening that you're just paralyzed. Every time you get your paycheck, you just put it in your bank account because you're like, man, what if my car breaks down? Yep. What if my car breaks down? Well, it goes what along if with your car breaks thing. down? What if your car breaks down and you don't have money? Because all you're doing is saving it. All the money comes in, all the money goes out. Like most people, like you, like old me. Yeah, fear is paralyzed. And one reason that people don't spend their money is they're just scared to spend it. They're scared to invest it. They feel like investing it and spending it to try to make something bigger is a waste of time. If people don't see the immediate return, they are petrified, they're scared to put anything into it. I've been saying lots of P words. Another P word to add onto this goes along with that everything is these people are. <laughs> <laughs> These people are procrastinators. Yeah. You're procrastinating. You're kind of waiting. Oh, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe uh, this will happen. I'll be able to invest into this, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So stop procrastinating. Like we say, procrastination is the devil. Watch our podcast. Yeah. You need to take the leap. Thrive podcast. Yeah. Take the jump. Take the leap. Stop procrastinating. It's going to paralyze you and you're going to stay where you are forever. Yeah. Take a deep breath, grow a pair of balls and get moving. Take yeah. action. You only live once. No. You, you only live one time. That's all you get. Spend the money. Where's it going to be? Sitting in your bank account when you die? Unless you're Indian, you believe in like reincarnation. Yeah. Sure. Right? Shout out to reincarnation. Shout out to Re Indians. Reincarnation, yo. And number three, guys. You have to distribute your income. You can't just put all your money in one place. Now we're saying scared money doesn't make money, but immature money doesn't make money either. 
when we say spend money, we're not saying spend it on anything. Yeah. We're not saying go out and buy a bunch of collectibles and try to save them. We're not saying go out and just buy a bunch of houses, go out and put all your money in a 401k. You have to distribute it. Yes, 401k is good. Putting some money in your bank account is good. You have emergencies. Yeah. Putting some money in an asset is good. Putting some money in a small business is good. Yeah. You have to distribute your money because any moment something could happen. If you put all your money in the stock market, what happens if the stock market crashes? Yeah. And that's why you move it around. People, you know, you have your emergency fund, you have your extra, you need your extra money to have a side. You could put it all in your emergency fund and then you have no money or you, uh, vice versa. Most people, it's usually vice versa where something happens, your dryer breaks down and then you're, you know, stuck going to quality dairy washing your clothes. Like a broke bitch. I actually washed my clothes the first time at the laundry mat. I told yeah. you that. Yeah. I felt humble. I was humble. But you want to move it around. In my terms, I'm thinking the past, kind of like baseball, right? I was a middle infielder, a shortstop, second baseman. If you're a kick-ass infielder, that's awesome. You're a sweet infielder, great. Yep. But if you can't swing the bat for sh you're as good as nothing. You need to be, you know, excelling. You need to balance your attributes. Hitting, fielding. I'm just thinking baseball in the past. Big old baseball player, you know. But as far as that goes, same thing goes with money. You want to put it in different places so yeah. it's, it's there when you need it. It's like anything. Anything. You can't be an amazing basketball player if you can shoot three-pointers all day, but you can't dribble. Yep, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You need to balance it out. Everything. Balance it out. Balance it out. And number four, guys. Money. Ching. It's everywhere. Right now, we're sitting in money. You go to work, you drive something that costs money. You go to a building that costs money. The land costs money. The trees you see are owned, and that property costs money. Everything around you, the clothes that you're wearing, costed money. Somebody else made money off that. The shoes you wear costed money. Somebody made money off that. The body wash that you used when you showered this morning costed money. And you might be thinking, making money off of that. You might be thinking, well, obviously, dumbass. Well, guess what? Think about it. They're you. It's everywhere. They're you. They're, They're you. Yeah. Those people that made those companies, it's they're no different yeah. from you. That's right? what we're there's trying to money say. Everywhere. Then there's money in everything. There's money everywhere. Yeah. There's people making money doing everything. Making a product. Yeah. Everything. Fake eyelashes. There is money everywhere. You sit in money. Every single product at a store. You go walk around the store. Tens of thousands of different things you could buy. Yeah. Every single one is owned by a company that's making money off of you. It's like a magnet, you know, if you're hanging around it long enough, you're hanging yeah. around people who make money, who've done it before, who have knowledge on this, you're a lot more apt to make money. Yeah, because it's everywhere. It's everywhere. The people you hang around with have money, or maybe they don't. And most people are just, like you mentioned before, we talked about earlier, most people are too scared to even get close to, to even touch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get close to it, get comfortable with it. Get comfortable with being broke, but surrounding yourself with people who aren't broke and yeah. who have made it and who can show you and kind of mentor you. Yeah, and stop for a minute and think about what your life would be like if you made 10 times more than you make now. Because it's possible. It's doable. Imagine if you made 10 times more than you make now. If every week, you're bringing home $500. Imagine if it was $5,000 every week. That's where some people swipe off the video right now because they quit and think it's not possible. Because they, oh shit, these guys are too big overthinkers. It's possible, guys. It's very possible. It's probable if it's, you put the effort in. Yeah. It's almost, it's not just possible. It's not that much money. It's probable. It's probable. Let's say you make $30,000. It's not impossible to make $300,000 a year. It's actually very likely that if you put the effort in, there's almost no chance that you wouldn't make that much money. Mm -hmm. And then some. Because once you make that much money, it's just a reoccurring thing. It's just, it start, you start to have in, incremental gains yep. the more you work towards something. And the more you guys do fucking jack sh you know, the more, yeah. Fucking losers, you get it. Yeah. It's not being broke, grow a pair of balls. The point is, there's money everywhere. And scared money, don't make no money. Don't make no money. If you want it, get around it and stay around it. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching, stick around. Of course, check out our other channel, Thrive Podcast, like our videos, subscribe. You're watching right now, you're not subscribed? Excuse me? What are these guys doing? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that bell notification so you get notified when we post new videos, and you guys have a great day. Thrive on.